We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Hey guys, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Fight the Flat Earth. Um, today with me, I have a special guest, someone who used to be involved in the Flat Earth community and has recently decided he no longer wants to be part of the Flat Earth community. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, my name is Sean G. Um, I was a Flat Earther, um, and, and now I'm kind of just uh, running around and, and talking to Flat Earthers that kind of give them a better perspective of what their, their beliefs are. Excellent. Um, so I know you were involved in the, in the flat earth for, for a while. Um, what was the first thing that got you into the flat earth? Um, well, actually it's, it's kind of weird. So, uh, we had that big eclipse, uh, about a year, year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had watched the NASA video and they were kind of talking about the, the, the way the shadow, the shadows would, uh, illuminate on earth or not illuminate, I'm sorry, uh, shadow the earth. And, kind of they asked the question of why is it going to happen in this way and the nasa video actually said you know we don't know we're, we're gonna we have to figure it out ourselves and that kind of seemed kind of odd i didn't you know i wasn't that didn't just switch me right away um and then i watched a flat earth video where the gentleman explained exactly you know he explained it all you know how it work and why the shadow would be on this side and crossing the united states and it kind of kind of made me realize, or at the time it made me realize, um, there may be something to this flat earth. There may be something, you know, someone with a different mindset may be trying to figure these things out. Okay. And it kind of, kind of went from there. All right. So was there any particular thing, once you started looking into things, was there any particular thing that cemented your belief in the flat earth? Yeah. Um, I, I when I go outside and I, I look around, I sat and I looked around and it, you know what you observe when you're outside in that short relative distance it it's flat you see you don't see a curve so kind of in my mindset um what i like to what i, what I realize now is, is the simple non-understanding of how to grasp how big earth is is kind of what what you know cemented flat earth for me you know it wasn't something i could see in my mind or imagine it being that big so would, would you say it was maybe your lack of understanding of how it should be on a heliocentric model? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Um, so when you started getting involved with the Flat Earth community, um, what kind of experience did you have? Were they, were they good experiences or bad experiences? Um, actually, it was, it was great. Um, before I became a Flat Earther, I, I actually was on a lot of flat earth live streams and they're really cool with me. You know, we had our debates and we go back and forth, but it was, it was respectful and, and it kind of stayed that way. Um, whereas, uh, I started noticing actually one of the things that actually pushed me towards flat earth was I noticed, whereas, and I'd have these interactions with the flat earthers and it'd be fine. You know, you get heated sometimes, but it stayed re respectful. Yeah. But what I was noticing is a lot of people that believed in the globe were, rude and and you know calling you know calling people idiots and what whatnot like that and it, it made me realize that it, or it seemed to me more of it was like a, a being super defensive over something and uh that kind of helped push me that way um right. once i became a flat earther it, it uh from the flat earth side you know it was it was fine you know everyone's talking trying to figure things out and uh i realized real quick you know if you're going to be a flat earther you got to have thick skin um otherwise you're in for it okay was there any particular bad experiences that you had during your time Ooh, where do i start um well see what happened was uh, actually when i became a flat earther i i i threw myself to the wolves pretty quickly um i i i started off by you know bad mouthing tim osman um right. calling out all the trolls and and all the good stuff on my first live stream so i was instantly dealing with everything right away um unfortunately you know i i've been doxxed at least 16 times um i was trolled by every single troll that's out there um i've pretty much seen it all so it it, it really 
threw, like I said, I threw myself to the wolves and I was in deep the second I became a flat earther. So um, it kind of seemed all normal to me the whole time. Right. Fair enough. So you, you kind of felt um, that there was a natural animosity between the groups. At, when I first got, got here, uh, got around to the group uh, flat earth, I didn't see it. Um, but I've actually seen it progressively getting worse. I mean, there was a time where it was both, you know, we're, we're just having conversation, got heated, but nothing super bad, like disrespectful. Um, if over the past year, it's actually, to me, gotten increasingly worse, whereas in now flat earthers are, are starting to get more disrespectful. And it, it's it's sad to me, really, realistically. I mean, it, I don't think it needs to go that way, that direction, no matter what you believe. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. I understand that. Um, so when you were within the flat earth, what started that, that doubt in your mind that it might not be true? Uh, it was, it was once I started, uh, really looking into it. Um, I'd always, you know, you'd be in these conversations in your building and you're trying to figure things out. And, and when that's happening, you're not so much trying to understand, but try to, trying to add what you believe into something. Um, it was when I started listening and stop and kind of took a step back and uh, realized that there were a lot of flat earthers that are almost making up their own science. Um, and, and that in itself isn't even that bad because you, you have to do that to figure things out. And that's mm -hmm. how things change. The problem I had was uh, there was no way to verify it. There was no way to, to show evidence for what they were saying at the time. Then it became the you know the worst part and what most people are seeing now, where they, they they'll sidetrack a conversation. Those things to me don't seem natural. If it's an answer that is there, if you know the answer, you know how to figure it out, you understand it. it should be pretty pretty simple to just you know express it, We're not having to make things up or or sidetrack the conversation because you don't have an answer for it. Um, and that was the other thing you know I've always made it very clear you know i don't have a big a, you know a widespread understanding of a lot of things so if i don't know i cannot answer it and i'm not going to make up an answer to please anybody that, that's brilliant that's a perfect answer really um was there any like definite thing that made you stop believing in flat earth yes and no um again it was it was flat earth ultimately um there are there are people that live stream or on the discord side that are flat earthers that you know want to spread what they believe and, and try to understand things um the problem is there are also um there are also people who say they're flat earthers who i believe honestly are just either getting a rise out of the reactions they get or have a real you know have to be in that spotlight there's something going on i don't know i can't even pinpoint exactly what it is but there are people there that have are just making stuff up as they go and it, it's really muddying the water for for people who want to figure things out that pretty much leads into the next question i've got down is that um in your opinion do you think that there's members of the flat earth community that are being intentionally dishonest um, you don't have to mention any names, but if you want to, then feel free. Uh, I have no problem. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say intentionally. You know, I don't think they're going. Let's lie about this today. I think they've taken it from a belief they have, and now it's become a show. You have Nathan Oakley. I mean, it's as obvious as it gets. When I first came around, he seemed like a guy who was a flat earther who wanted, you know, to spread the word and and, and everything and. It's clearly just a shit show now. It's clearly an sh entertainment scenario for him. Um, I mean, you could any big big ch flat Earth channel, uh, Bro Sanchez. Um, there's those other ones that aren't coming to me right away. But the way I started, what I realized is they're they're working off a narrative. They know exactly what what needs to be said to get an audience. Mm -hmm. They usually we'll be spouting about that super chat and the in the paypals every show and once again i mean and at, at the same time there's nothing wrong with that i mean 
there the super chats and the paypals all that stuff is there for a reason you know it's i don't fault them for it the problem i fault is that they're quote unquote under the guides of teaching flat earth and in reality they're you know just trying to make money I, if they were honest it'd be different but uh yeah it's a, it's all about entertainment to a lot of these uh, flat earthers now okay um all, same again really is is there flat earthers that you think genuinely believe what they're saying absolutely um but at the same time i think it was under the same situation i was in where just not having a real clear understanding or having someone to clearly uh, explain it to you is is mo the main issue when it comes to uh people who believe in flat earth i believe a majority of them believe it's flat um but again you know just not having that full understanding of it or uh or even having that worry that they're being lied to by other flat earthers may be another issue okay so um would you have any um any advice for someone who was maybe on the fence about flat earth weren't the, and weren't you know, weren't sure would you have any advice about what what to research to convince themselves uh well definitely definitely start you know using or realizing that it's a, it's a bunch of different subjects so it's not something that you can just go onto a live stream or go to a website and then you're going to just click and it's going to figure it out. I was, I, as far as I can tell, I'm as lucky as it gets. I, there are a lot of uh, people on discord and YouTube that I talk to on the side that are, you know, professors and uh, other, you know, it's just really smart people that really took the time to sit down and, and explain it to me. And even more importantly, they were honest about even, you know, the situations that are going on with science in the globe and what is really known in, in what's kind of you know made to sound better they were honest about those things and that played a big role on you know me understanding things therefore realizing you know it's not really possible for us to live on a flat earth based on you know a, a few things that are very clear that you can tell um i still don't have an understanding of it but what really ultimately laid it out for me was just thinking if I had a flat earther and a globe, someone who believes in a globe standing in front of me, and I asked him three simple questions, how would that how would that scenario go? And it, it just over the year and a half that I was, was a flat earther, I realized there's never been a time I've had a flat earther be able to explain these things clearly without the you know jumping subject or everything's a lie. NASA's this, you know, it, it's. Yeah it's very simple if you know an answer you someone and you can explain it it's very easy to just get it out there and let the person play with whatever information they've received and uh that, that's ultimately what i would tell anybody on the fence uh really really think about the answers you're getting and how they're explained because that's a tall tale sign of whether or not it's it's possible or not um another huge issue i'm seeing is the click thing you know if i if i'm if i'm not a flat earther anymore all these people that were flat earthers they're going to hate me and i'm not going to have these friends that I've, I've made up over this time um they're not your friends uh it's very clear i i i realized it um i there are people that i realized were never really my you know cool with me um but at the same time you don't want to to associate with those type of people who are going to only talk to you based on this flat earth belief. Um, but at the same time, I was warned that I would get every flat earther hating me, death threats. Um, I, I was very lucky. I have a group of people that are still flat earthers. I talk to them every day. I consider a lot of them family, um, but they, they understood that it was something I had to do. It was something that uh, is better. I would rather anybody be honest with me and it not please me than sit there and lie to me and, and just just from, so my feelings aren't hurt or my objective thought pattern would change. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. it's it's just something that everyone needs to realize. Real friends and family, they're gonna they're gonna stick with you no matter what. Okay. Um, 
you said about obviously talking to professors and stuff. Um, um, what about people that weren't really that educated? I mean, I know you've um, been on Non Sequitur and debated Red's rhetoric. Would you say that any of your interactions with the flat earth debunkers helped you come to your conclusion that the earth wasn't flat? Uh, no. Um, and, and it's pretty, it's kind of a situation that's not going to happen. Everyone knows Red. Red is by no means a respectful person um, when it comes to the debate aspect of it. I, I've, only, I've talked to him a few times and he's actually not, believe it or not, not exactly like you hear on a live stream if you're talking to him personally off air. Um, he can still act like that, but it's, it's, it's not a, a situation where he's trying to make anyone not a flat earther. He's trying to get across to people uh, his opinion and prove someone is wrong without the idea of, you know, making them understand it too much. Um, I, I think that the debate aspect of it is, is good for people who may not know very much about either side because then they get to hear aspects of things going on. And when someone says something and the other person says it's wrong, and can explain how it's wrong, and then that the people can research that or whatnot. That's where the debate to me are good. Um, but at the same time, I it's not really a situation where you're, you're you're sitting someone down and going, "You need to choose based off this." Brilliant. Well, I don't want to make this too long. Um, I've got one more question for you, really, and uh, is what's now for what 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 happens now for Sean G? Um, well, I, I've as the year and a half that I was a flat earther and live streaming and whatnot, um, I've never considered myself a flat earth proof type person. So I wasn't someone you come to to figure things out. Um, so I never really talked about it um, as a whole explaining situation. Um, I, I am a conspiracy theorist. I do look into a lot of things. Um, I like to think that I look for the facts in these conspiracies um, to figure it out. So, I mean, I, I still do uh, a lot of live streaming about, you know, the things that are just the underlying things that people may not see or understand with climate, the climate uh, change and, and how oil fuel or fossil fuels and oil and all that stuff mixes with itself. So I'm still out there. Um, I'm still doing a lot of research on the things that I personally like to research, uh, whether it be, you know, uh, geoengineering, um, other conspiracy things going on trying to figure those things out in my head uh whether or not they're real or not okay and you're obviously going to be putting all this on your new youtube channel yes yes right. everything's on my youtube uh I try to live stream at least once a week um trying to work towards more of a twice a week schedule um okay. and you know sticking to certain topics for a period of time and then moving on from that well i'll make sure your channel's linked in the description and pinned in the comments as well for this um Sean, I want to say it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Um, I know that, you know, listening to the live stream that you had, the whole thing must have been quite hard for you to do and a, a big decision for you to come to. So um, I appreciate your bravery and your honesty. And I want to say thank you very much for speaking to me tonight. Yeah, um, absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Um, yeah, it, it was uh, definitely, a, uh, definitely a hard thing to, to, to start that live stream and get it all out. Um, yeah. But I, I do appreciate um, everyone that was there, everyone who's messaged me um, based on that video or that upload. And, uh, you know, I, I just got, you got every, I just suggest everyone be honest and, and uh, just really look into what's being told, both sides, no matter what it is. It's, it's all about understanding. If you can understand something, you, you can feel good about yourself believing in it, is how Absolutely. I see it. Absolutely. I 100% agree with that. Um, so all that's left to say is um, I hope you have a, a really great Christmas um, and um, I hope to speak to you in the future. Um, uh, absolutely, you too. Um, thank you very much, guys. Make sure you go and check out um, Sean G's channel and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you later. Bye. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fire, 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 fire.